Hi, this is Jeremy, and uh, we're here in our Music Theory Fundamentals Lesson 11. We're going to be talking about keys and key signatures. I invite you to go check out studymusicfree.com, which is the site I'm making to host all of these lessons. All right, so in the last lesson, we, we briefly touched on keys and key signature, uh, the idea of keys. And as I listened to it again, it was pretty confusing. <laughs> which I have a tendency to be. Um, so I just wanted to simplify it a little bit. And basically, the, our understanding of keys and, and what, what it means to be in key and out of key, uh, the more we learn about music, the more complex music we learn about and study, the more complex our understanding needs to be of what it me what keys mean. But initially, for our purposes, starting out here in music theory fundamentals, it's enough for us to, to, to say that basically a key is associated with the scale. So, for example, the C ma the key of C major contains all of the notes of the C major scale. And so there's a very close relationship, at least initially, in, in ba some more basic and simple music between the scale and the key. If a note is not in the scale, it's not in the key. Uh, again, as we get more complex, our understanding of what that means changes, and it gets more complex. But right now, for our purposes, something can be considered inside the key if it's within the scale that the key is based on. So in the key of C major, the music will all have be played from notes uh, in the C major scale. All the melodies, all the harmonies, all the chords, everything will come from the notes that are in the C major scale. All right, so from our, our lesson, our introduction to scales, we learned how to construct a scale by going up the, the key, piano keyboard by this pattern of whole steps and half steps. And we learned that we could start on any key, follow this pattern of whole steps and half steps, and we would make a major scale. We'd play a major scale. Uh, and we also learned that the key of C, starting on the key of C and going up, the white notes on the keyboard follow naturally the uh, pattern of whole steps and half steps for the major scale. So the white notes on the keyboard, the piano keyboard, are considered the natural notes. Now this has a very cl close correspondence and has had a direct influence on how we notate the music. So the notes that f are on the plain notes on the scale, uh, on the staff, excuse me, the plain notes on the staff are considered the natural notes. And so they likewise share the same relationship as the notes on the piano keyboard. That is to say that on the musical staff, when we have a plain note, C to D, it follows the same pattern of whole steps and half steps. Now it might be a little bit confusing for you to, to understand and realize that on the staff, the natural notes on the staff here, even though we're proceeding up by directly adjacent lines and spaces, we are following the pattern of whole steps and half steps. So that means that on the staff, from this C to this D is represented by just going from a line to a space. But on the keyboard, since this is a whole step, we're actually skipping over a key. So that might, that might be uh, initially confusing to you, but just realize that when the notes on the staff are natural notes, that means there's no sharp or flat related with that note, that they follow the same patterns of whole steps and half steps as the C major scale or the white notes on the keyboard. So when we notate these different scales on the staff, we need to start 
involving sharps and flats to show where the scale alters from the C major scale. So let's do an, uh, uh, some examples of this. Here I have the beginnings of an F major scale. And you can see that for the most part, the first um, three notes follow exactly the same pattern um, as the C major scale. That is, we have a whole step, a whole step, but now we need a half step if we're going to follow our pattern here. And so if we go back to the C major scale, A to B, uh, that's a, that is a whole step. So whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So in the C major scale, or the natural notes, this is a, a whole step, but uh, this A to B. But here we have an A, and we need to put in a half step. That means we need to lower the note by one half step. So uh, on the musical keyboard, if this was middle C, um, this would be the corresponding keys on the keyboard that we're talking about up here. Okay, so uh, here's the A. Now we need to go to just one half step up rather than a whole step. So what we need to do is we need to make this whole step smaller, the interval of this whole step smaller. So we lower the note by one half step and it becomes a B flat rather than a B natural. And that means when I put this note in here, I need to make it flat so that this is a half step, okay? All right, so now I can finish out my scale. That's the F major scale. So here is the C major scale. Let's play that. Okay, so that was the C major scale. And now I'm going to play the same major scale, but it's going to be on the, based on the, the note F. So this is going to be the F major scale. Now, if I uh, made that uh, into a natural note, again, uh, let me play that for you so you can hear how that sounds. Okay, and then uh, this, let's see if we can make that flat again. Now here it is again with the flat. Okay, um, I think I'm going to continue this in another lesson, so that's it for now, but in our next lesson we'll do keys and key signatures continued.